Welcome to Everyday Linux User. Now, if you have been following along, you'll have seen that I have shown you how to install Linux Mint and I've given you 60 ways to improve your Linux Mint setup. And one of the ways I actually omitted to help you with that was the use of common fonts such as Vedana, Arial, Times New Roman and things like that. So you can see I've got LibreOffice Writer here and when I click here, all you've got are the default free fonts that you get with Linux Mint. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install common fonts such as Vedana and Helvetica and fonts like that. I'm also going to show you how to install a few other fonts as well. Now as before with the Linux Mint stuff I'm not going to be using the terminal as part of this guide. You can do everything without touching the terminal and this emphasizes my previous points in that Linux Mint is one of the easiest Linux distributions to use and you do not need to use the terminal. So if I minimize that, in fact I'm going to close out of that because you need to close out after the install. So if you click on Linux Mint and you click on here, we'll open the App Store. I have to already have it open and if you type TTF you can see there is this package here and this is TTF MS Core fonts. So this will give you all the Microsoft True Type fonts and you can see the ones that are going to be installed here. So Arial, Times New Roman, Verdana, Trebuchet, Impact, all, all the fonts that you'd expect and all you have to do is click install and then click continue and you have to enter your password and that is it they, those are the fonts installed so if I go back here now and we open up LibreOffice you will see if I go up to the top we now have Arial, Arial Black, we've got Curry and New, and we've got Georgia there somewhere, I think, and Impact. And then further down, we have Trebuchet, Times New Roman, and Verdana. So that's how you get the common Microsoft fonts installed. But you'll notice here, there are other fonts you can install. Now it's up to you which ones you install, um, but uh, you can see there's different types of fonts available to you. It's worth noting that from the actual software manager here, there is a category for fonts, so you can also click on that. So you can find other fonts that you might like. But that is how you install fonts using Linux Mint. It's a short guide, um, but I admitted it from the original video where I had the full setup guide. Uh, so I thought I would add it in as a separate video in its own right. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.